I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. There was some question today about if anyone else had walked from the audience and done that, they would have been escorted out by security or maybe even arrested. The police asked, asked Chris if he been. wanted to file charges. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. You know, that insult is going to last a very long time. If you want to yell from the audience and disapprove or sh show a disapproval or say something on Twitter or whatever, you, you know, you do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. No, no, I agree. I, I think we all agree on that. I just thought, Jim, but, that it escalated to that. You but, know what I mean? That it escalated to that level. It didn't escalate. It came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's yes. frustrated. And I, I, I wish him the best. I really do. I don't, I don't you know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great mm -hmm. things. But that was have not a to good moment. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment last night you know a lot of people worked really hard to get to that place and to have their moment in the sun and to to get their award for the really hard work they did and a, and, a, and it, it is no mean feat to go through all the stuff you have to go through when you're nominated for an oscar it's a gauntlet of devotion that you have to do and uh and you know just it was just a selfish moment to cast a pall over the whole thing i mean bravo Jenna,